Hello, my name is Agatha and this is the prediction for December 2016 for the sign of Virgo. This is a very general reading. If you'd like a private consultation, please write to duniazada.gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Um, you can also subscribe to my newsletter, which is www.tinyletter.com. Every month I pick a winner for a free written tarot reading, written by me, and the choice uh, of that winner is made among those who are subscribed to my newsletter. So Virgo, let's go uh, to your reading. First, we're going to have a very general uh, astrological analysis for December, and then we'll go to the, in your case, oracle reading. So, uh, the full moon happens on the 14th of December at 22 degrees of Gemini, and then the new moon happens on the 29th of December at almost 8 degrees of Capricorn. And what does this mean uh, to you or for you? In your case, this full moon uh, in Gemini happens in your 10th house. It has very good aspects, it only has one negative aspect. Um, so, full moons are endings or culminations, it depends. I'm sorry, for some it could be that you're, uh, it happens on your 10th house. For some it might be that you're ending your career, you're getting out of the rat race, you're getting out of your you know, job, profession, you're retiring, you know, uh, and like, kind of happy about it. Maybe there's some sort of you know, difficulties around the home environment or with your family, but maybe they don't want you to retire, you know, or maybe you retire and then you realize that you have to deal every day with a grumpy husband or wife or grandfather or grandmother or mother-in-law or something like that. Um, but it's a very good uh, full moon, actually. If it's not that, uh, there's a, a culmination connected with your career, with your profession. It could be that you, you are, uh, you know... Um, you go to another level, you uh, you have a promotion, uh, maybe you finished up some sort of education that will allow you to move on up. If it's not that, maybe a boss, a new boss comes in, maybe a younger boss than you, um, or a boss leaves. And, and the fact that this boss leaves, could be a man or a woman, it kind of fills you with relief and it's, oh my God, it's so good. It's, things are just so much better. It might even be... For some, that your career improves because this boss left. Uh, for others, it could be like an authority fam um, figure, again, boss. There's some sort of culmination or ending in his life or her life. Or it could be, you know, not necessarily with the boss. It could be with the father figure. Figure. It could be like your father retires or your father gets a promotion or your grandfather retires or he gets a promotion. Uh, something uh, around those lines. And then the new moon uh, on the 29th, 29th of December that happens um, almost at 8 degrees of Capricorn. Uh, new moons are new beginnings. It happens on your fifth house. So they could, for some it could be a new beginning connected to your love life. You might meet someone, for instance. Or you might be casually dating and you decide to, you know... Um, Let's let's just date exclusively. Let's just you know be boyfriend and girlfriend, gr girlfriend or something like that. It could be someone who c calls you back, someone you've dated before, and someone who comes back. It could be someone like that. If it's not to do with that, it could be a new beginning in the the life of a uh, child. So uh, something something for instance connected with studying. Maybe he or she decides to finish up some sort, some uh, course of study, goes back to college, or enters college, or changes schools. It's a new beginning, maybe connected with studying. Not necessarily. It could be that your uh, child uh, decides to uh, be a bit more serious with a musical instrument. Maybe he or she learned like years ago or something like that, started learning piano, had piano lessons, it kind of gave it up. But now he or she is starting again, but in a more deep, deep, profound way. Um, what else can it be? Uh, this could also be connected with a hobby. You might have a hobby, you might commit to a hobby. Uh, maybe you've tried this hobby out like a while back and you're returning to this hobby or you might have a creative project and you're finishing up for real you are getting back to this creative project 
could be a book and you decide to finish up this the, this book if you uh, play on the stock market uh, it could be that you are revising your stocks you know you're revising the way you invest in the stock market okay uh, you want to take chances but at the same time you want, at the same time you want to keep it safe so within keeping it safe you might take a little chance but not in a way that will deplete your money you know you know so you don't want to take too much too much chances you know too, too many risks um now moving on for the next part of your reading which is in your case the, uh, an oracle reading i'm going to use the energy oracle cards by sandra and taylor and this is beautiful this is a new deck that i got and it's beautiful and i love it um i'm going to analyze seven areas of, of your life um from time to time i'm going to read from the book because i don't know this by heart okay i just uh you can it's just using the intuition sometimes it's uh, it's not sufficient um i'm going to analyze seven areas of your life for december 2016 it's going to be beginning middle and end of the month and i'm going to ask you to pick a symbol tree fishes bear flowers key, ship, or dog. So uh, this symbol, I'm going to place it uh, below each area of your life, and it, it's going to serve as a message just for you, okay, or more destined for you. I'm going to repeat the symbols again. Key, fishes, flowers, bear, ship, tree, and dog. Okay, have you picked? Now I'm going to shuffle, shuffle. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to see where I'm shuffling. I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to see it. And I don't know which symbol is going to go to which area of your life. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's begin in the area connected with your job if you pick the symbol tree this message is for you in particular in the beginning of the month you have patience so uh, maybe you are very feeling a bit in impatient because because you want to get things done before the the christmas and, and the new year comes in so you want to you want to keep on moving you want to do things Fast, fast, fast. The, the feeling that I have is like you, you're, you're like this. Inside of you, it's like, look at the time, look at the time. You have to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So the, the message would be, take it easy, relax. Okay, relax, dude. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be okay. Just have patience. Okay, that's, that's the message that I'm getting from your... Uh, higher self or guardian angel or whatever or universe or source or whatever in the middle of the month you have door to value so some of you might get it might be getting some sort of promotion new opportunities money coming in and maybe if you took the advice of being patient patient of, have, of having patience this allowed for money and new opportunities and uh, to come in into your life in terms of, uh, through your profession th through your career at the end of the month you have goddess of the moon when you uh, you decided you you virgo are probably using more your intuition to guide you in terms of your career and your profession so you maybe you're not so impatient maybe you you see the value of being led by your your intuition to make decisions okay and just to allow things to happen um, now the next area of your life is the area connected with family if you pick the card bear this message is particularly particularly for you in the beginning of the month you have walking away so maybe some family member is walking away from something it could be a situation it could be a job 
It could be a, a relationship, a love relationship, for instance, uh, uh, maybe he or she decides to finally, you know, be divorced and she's happy. You see, this family member is happy because of walking away. Uh, maybe he or she has like old ways of thinking, old pattern, pa patterns of thinking. Maybe it's an addiction that he or she is walking away from. Whatever she's walking away from, or he, I'm saying she because it's a woman, but it could be a, a he, uh, it makes her very happy or makes him very happy. Or it's your family that's looking at you and seeing that you're making major changes in your life and you're walking away from something you... Uh, um, entering a new phase of your life and you're very happy. This could also be move, moving to another country, uh, accepting a new job, something like that. Uh, in the middle of the month, you have uh, yin and yang. So there's balance. There's someone in your family who's achieved some sort of balance, you know, feminine and masculine, maybe because it's the same person, maybe, because he or she walked away. He or she finally in the middle of the month has some emotional, even spiritual balance within him or him or her. Or it's your family who's a, who is the witness of seeing this process happening in you. So maybe your family sees that you have reached and achieved some sort of inner balance. At the end of the month, you have final con financial constraints. So uh, maybe someone in your family uh, has... No money problems, maybe because they spent too much money in buying gifts in, in, in or going out to have this big lavish party and, uh, you know, New Year party, something like that. There's some sort of financial constraints connected with a family member. It could be the same family member who walked away from a situation who divorced, who decided to leave, who decided to uh, finish up like a, a, a job, maybe because this job uh, really uh, took a toll, a toll? Yeah, a toll in his or her emotional self. But the cost or the consequences is, you know, uh, a bit of problem, uh, problems in terms of finances. If it's not a family member, it's the family, it's your family that's seeing this happening to you. Okay, but this is just the end of the month. You know, those financial difficulties are not forever. Okay, uh, and then moving on to the next part of your life, which is luck uh, and yearnings or desires. You have, if you picked fishes, I'm sorry, this message is particularly destined for you. Uh, in the beginning of the month, you have the magician and the mirror. To me, it's you have the ability to manifest and to materialize whatever you want. You want this desire, you have this desire, you have this long, uh, long held yearning, and you manifest it into your life. And just like pluck it out from the heavens and make it so, you know, you have that ability. Or you meet someone who helps you out, who teaches you how to do that. Or this person helps you and brings you good luck and brings you something you always wanted for yourself. In the middle of the month, you have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. The seventh chakra is the crown chakra. And according to the book, which I've read a bit, not completely, it means that you have like an open channel with the divine or the, the, the good beings, not the bad ones. Uh, and maybe there's, there's intuition, there's like an open uh, channel of communication between you and the the hidden realms, let's call it, and with the divine, and 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 this channel allows you to um, have received messages which will help you in uh, materializing something that you always wanted into your life. It's like your angels are help, are helping you, but these are archangels who are helping, like the like the highest of the highest. Uh, it's you have serious help from the other side. To make your dreams come true, I would say. At the end of the, the month, you have strategy. So you are Virgo, and Virgos like to have plans. I have Virgo myself. I have Venus in Virgo. So like making a plan. I don't I don't usually follow it, but I make them. Okay. Uh, but making a plan, you like put it in writing. That's important. 
because if you put it in put it in writing you can see clearly what you can do what you what you have to do so you're making that uh, and this plan that you that you're in which you are working uh, maybe it's a plan to visualize maybe you want something okay maybe you fulfilled something in the beginning in the middle of the month you fulfilled a long-held wish a long-held yearning and desire you brought it to your life but you still have wishes you still have other things that you want to to accomplish so you decide i'm going to make a plan i'm going to make a visualizing plan i'm going to visualize every day for the next week for five minutes in the morning in five minutes at night so you make that sort of plan you know uh, and then the the next area of your life virgo it's the fourth area is the area connected with with friendship uh, if you picked the card dog uh, this uh, this message is particularly for you so in the beginning of the month you have the thinking man I'm going to read from the book this one 46 46 46 46 come on where are you the thinking man male of wisdom or understanding this is a thoughtful and reflective man so this is a friend of yours or you yourself are like that uh, it could it showed up as a guy but it could be a woman as well you know because this is a very general, this is a very general reading uh, representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon. I'm thinking that this person has arrived and this person is your friend. Uh, this person might be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction. You're talking about it because you want to make... There's some indications that you want to make some sort of changes in your life and you're asking advice from this person. Um, so he may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional uh, pursuits. Pursuits. So learn uh, what you can from this person. This person is there, some here to guide you. It's a friend. You're gonna go to this friend because it could be a, again a man or a woman, and uh, you just pick the the right person to guide you to give you advice. I'm thinking that he or she might be from a, might be from a Virgo, yes, but might be because Virgos, you know, if you ask advice from a Virgo, they'll be happy. Oh my God, let me, oh, thank you, thank you. They they love to give advice. Let me, uh, if you ask, it's like you're fulfilling their destiny. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they are here to correct your path, to help you. If you ask an advice from a Virgo, they're so happy, okay? Um, or help from a Virgo, they're so happy happy to help you. They're really, really help, uh, happy to help you. My mother, when I was six, she's a Virgo. And I was, uh, I couldn't, I mean, I had problems with my feet. Uh, and I couldn't move all that much. And she was like, do you want me to do something? <laughs> she was so happy. Not that I was sick, okay, but she, do you want me to do this and that and that? that do, you want, do you want me to help around the house? No, no, it's fine. No, I, really, do you want me to help you? So they're so happy when they are uh, in a position of helping other people. Um, and if you say no, they, 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 you make them sad. Like, no, really, you make them sad if you say no. This person might be a Virgo or this person might be from a air sign. Uh, Aquarius... Uh, Virgo, I'm sorry, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, or Libra. So talking, uh, asking advice from this friend. At the middle of the month, you have the broken heart. So it could be for some, uh, your friends are the witness of some sort of disappointment in your life. And I'm it could be love life, but not just love life. You know, uh, something in your life that causes you pain, that causes you sorrow, uh, that causes you some sort of emotional distress, or it could be, if it's not you, you know, it's uh, something to do with a friend. So you, a uh, friend is heartbroken, there's something going on in your friend's life, and uh, you are witnessing, okay, and um, I'm, I'm, it could be the thinking man, but I don't think it is. It's, it might be someone else. 
And then at the end of the month, Virgo, you have the Angel of Strength. And here you see the, the lion. It could be that you behave as a very good, strong, emotional support. Uh, you behave like a very strong friend to someone in your uh, friendship uh, area. Like someone had some sort of major blow or will have some sort of major blow in the middle of December 2016 and you are there to really give them and show them support or it could be the other way around you have you need support you need emotional support and there's a friend there who's really there for you okay who's a very strong person and this person could could be uh, could have leo uh, it could be like sun in leo moon in leo rising sun in leo something like that now, uh, moving on to the next part of your life, which is love and sex. Uh, if you picked ship, this message is particularly for you. In the beginning of the month, you have anxiety, anxiety so you're, you're anxious about something in your love life. Uh, there's some sort of anxiety connected with your boyfriend or girlfriend um, or spouse, uh, not necessarily like not necessarily something to do with a conflict or uh, thinking that he or she is cheating no it could be something like maybe he or she is sick and you're uh, very anxious about that it could be all sorts of issues that that cause you anxiety uh, about this person you know in the mid middle of the month you have action so you decide to act whatever it is you just decide to Act in a very uh, decisive way, in a very powerful way. So you're not stuck and not know what, not knowing what to do. You just act. You just decide to act and maybe solve this problem if there if there is a problem. And in the the end of the month, you have the thinking woman. And to me, it's to me this is you, uh, Virgo. Uh, so maybe you are analyzing something to do with your love life you're analyzing what you've you know you're thinking like a rational and logic rational perspective you're trying to see uh, your uh, love life in an objective manner if it's not you it's the other part person who's doing that um, continuing the next part of your life it has to do with plans and goals uh, plans and goals yes if you pick the card key this message is for you. In the middle, in the beginning of the month, you have the door to romance. I'm thinking that, you, that your plans, you're making plans to do with your love life. Maybe you're like planning a, a nice getaway, uh, a wonderful getaway with your spouse or with your long-term partner or with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You're like planning things out. Um, in the middle of the month, you have all tied up. Maybe you plan things out, but either you cannot go to this getaway uh, maybe it's like a weekend away with your long-term partner you cannot get away because there's other things that you need to do uh, you need to take care maybe of work or family members or kids or whatever or whomever or it's the other person the other person suddenly cannot go out with you because he or she needs to take care of, of parents or someone in the family or something to do with the kids or something to do with his or her work so they like constraint there's constraints yeah and you can't you can't go <laughs> uh, so your plans don't get met you don't you don't uh, you don't get to achieve those plans at the end of the month you have door to personal healing and happiness i'm thinking that at the end of the month you are you are focusing on yourself and things that you can do for you independent of other people either a goal a goal uh, that you had for you is accomplished in a way which is very good in a way that allows you healing and personal happiness or you're working on a plan that will bring that to you into your life you're focusing on yourself moving on for the last to the last area of your life virgo which is the message from your higher self if you picked flowers this message of, uh, is particularly for you what is the message uh, from your higher self? In the beginning of the month, you have caring connections. So it might be your, your higher self might be telling you, if you're single, he or she, uh, your higher self might be telling you that someone is about to enter your life, someone uh, who will be your romantic partner. If it's not that, 
if you already have someone, the message of your higher self is you should devote more time to your romantic partner, to your spouse, but this is caring connections. It could be not just spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend. It's anyone uh, who is close to you, anyone in your family, anyone whom you love or who, who loves you. So you should devote time to your family, to your loved ones. That's the message from your higher self. In the middle of the month, you have the angel of love. So what is the message from your higher self? It could be, again, the same thing. Like uh, your higher self is telling you yet again that if you're single, you should, uh, there's someone who's about to enter your life, who's about to come into your life. Hey, your soulmate or something like that. If it's not that, if you're not single, you should really pay attention and, and give love uh, to your spouse or to your partner or to your boyfriend or girlfriend. That's the message from your higher self. And then at the end of the month, you have contract. What is the message from your higher self? For some of you, it might be telling that uh, maybe you'll get a, a marriage proposal. It could be. Or it could be that... Maybe you have some sort of problems with, or not, not necessarily. Maybe, maybe things are going fine in your marriage. And either it's good or bad in your marriage. Your higher self is here to tell you that this uh, partnership, and I'm thinking romantic, but not necessarily, but more romantic partnership. This is a contract that you have before you had with this person before you were even born. You both agreed, hey, you're going to be married. I'm going to live through this. This is a contract, okay, which you are fulfilling. Um, if it's not that, if everything is fine with your uh, romantic partnership, and if you are uh, unemployed, your higher self is telling you that you're about to sign a contract, uh, meaning that you might uh, have a job. So you, you are about to, uh, to, to get a job, which will mean signing up a contract, okay? So this is it, Virgo. This is the um, the reading that I have for you for December 2016. This is a very general reading. If you like a private consultation, please send an email to duniazala.gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.